And for our peach French toast, we're gonna make like a little syrupy, caramely thing. Let me wipe this off so it doesn't smell. Okay, so in our little pot, we're gonna add a half a stick of butter. Ooh, because this is gonna be good. I didn't get to taste this, but it really looked good. Okay, and some uh, brown sugar. Let me get a thing here. I'll go ahead and put this in. We'll watch it. But and what else goes in here? Two teaspoons of water, tablespoons rather. I'm sorry. Two tablespoons of water it goes in there. Okay. So we're gonna let that cook because that's gonna go in the bottom of our pan for our peaches. You know, again, we don't want this to burn. Free stone peaches, thank goodness. It's too hard to get the pits out if they're not. They're not. So I'll leave the peel on. If you feel like you don't want to, certainly you can peel them either with a vegetable peeler or if you are so inclined to drop them in the water, boiling water and the cold water and the peel, whoops, peel comes right off. Although by the time you got boiling water and then you got dip them in the cold water and if you're doing a lot, like if you're canning peaches, that's a good idea. But if you're just doing, we only have three here, so I don't know how worth it would be. The peaches are not that hard to peel. Okay, we're just gonna slice them up. The peaches have been so good this year. Caramel mixture is going away. Okay. Oops, one more. All right, so our peaches are ready. are ready. Our caramel syrup is getting there. Because um, you can, you know, whatever's on the outside of the egg now is going to go into your bowl. So just kind of a precaution. And also you have to watch too where you're going to. What? This is boiling. Oh yes. This looks good. Okay, I'm going to turn that down. That looks good. I think I used a bigger pot earlier. All right, that'll be good. If I was to crack them on the counter and then put my knife into what was there, I've cross-contaminated my knife. So just, you know, precaution, um, just think about it. You know, think about what you're doing. Ooh, double yolk. A lot of times we don't really think about cross-contamination of things. Um, but it's, you know, it's usually not a problem. One of the things that I probably don't think about, I know what, sometimes I, I don't do it at home, using the same knife in your peanut butter jar and then putting it in the jelly. Now you've already, you've cross-contaminated your jelly, but for the most part, there's nothing going on and it's your jelly and it's your peanut butter. So, you know, you don't have to worry about it. But just, you know, it seems like more and more we have to be aware of things going on. So now we've got our eggs, should be perfectly safe. Clean off the counter. Okay. I always use large eggs. This is, this is one, um, you don't really, really have to worry about the size of the egg, you know, uh, we're not trying to do a chemical reaction as you would in a cake. 
So we've got our peaches, our eggs, our peaches here, our eggs here. We're going to have half a cup of milk. We got to get that out. And this sort of breaks up the eggs a little bit. And we'll whisk that. Okay. We're going to put our tablespoon of vanilla and our cinnamon in here. Tablespoon of vanilla and our cinnamon. Okay. Now this is a neat recipe. If you're having a brunch, you can put it in the night before in the refrigerator and it'll be all ready for you to um, bake in the morning. Okay, and you don't need to have a syrup with it. Okay, that looks good, all right. Okay, so we're gonna take our caramel sauce and we're going to put that in our pan or our baking dish. Ooh, that looks good. And we're going to take our peaches and drop those in. I think we'll probably eat it right now like this. Peaches will fit in here very nicely. Okay. Okay. Now our bread. Just a French baguette. We're gonna, just going to cut this. This is half a loaf. I'm going to cut it in uh, 12 pieces. And we'll layer those in. Everybody's coughing tonight. <laughs> What's going on? Oops. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> All right, so here's our bread. Okay, which we're going to sort of layer in here. You can overlap, it's okay. Not, we don't want too much overlap. Oops, what happened there? I want to kind of fit in, let's see. I might have to cut these. Okay, that looks good there. I think that's all we're gonna get in, okay. One little piece left that you could like use the, no. <laughs> we won't do that. I'd do that at home probably, but okay. There's our egg mixture with that we're gonna pour on the top. Make sure you get all the pieces of bread in here. All right, now. Oh, let me get another. Here, we'll use this one. I'm going to just sort of push this down here. This is at the point where you would put it in the <coughs> refrigerator for eight hours, just so the bread soaks up all of the egg mixture. We're going to just go ahead and pop it right in the oven. Ooh, our soup looks good. Not ready? Okay. This is what it looks like when it comes out. My magic oven is working tonight. <laughs> so there is our peach French toast. Yeah, it smells good.